Hi guys, Arc1985 here. Today I'm going to prepare the NES Remix Mario 1 Challenges and the Mario 1 Challenges on the Nintendo World Championship NES Edition. Now, the first challenge on NES Remix is a version of the second quest, World 1 1. Which you can run through it. As you can see, we're jumping, just going right through it. Uh, the second thing, the comparison is that a Mario on the NES Championship, you also have a 1 1 challenge, but it's not the first challenge in the game. And it's also based off of the first quest, 1 1. So. So yeah, there's that. Um, Mario on the NES Remix, it has a coin collecting challenge where you go through four different levels. You have coins in 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, 1-3. <laughs> And you got the 1-1 one, one Underground, which is... The 1-1 one, one Underground is actually a challenge on the NES edition of World Championship. But they give you a mushroom instead of Small Mario to do it. I think I open up with, like, about three challenges from the NES Remix here. Uh, coming up next is Killing Enemies. Which is a quick little challenge. So quick, I end up killing myself a few times trying to do it. I think I actually cut the video here. Yep. Yeah, we end up killing ourselves <laughs> trying to do that challenge. So now we're going into the first challenges from NES Remix. The very first challenge there is catching a mushroom. Next up is this little coin challenge, collecting challenge. Not much to say about it, it's a quick challenge. Step it up. Pretty much here, you're just running to get to the flagpole. One good thing about the NES Championship Edition is that it does have your ghost data. So you can see how you did against your previous self. Unfortunately, on this video, I did worse than my best time, but that's okay. Switching back to the NES Remix. Beat enemies while invincible. Defeat more enemies while invincible. <laughs> There's not a challenge like that that I know of on the NES edition. So this is a fun little challenge showing off various levels of Mario 1. Next is a grabbing flagpole levels. So again, they just show you various endings. 4-3, 5-2, and then I believe it's a dungeon after this where you kill Bowser. You do something similar to this in, uh... The NES Championship Edition also. Except for I believe you do the whole level of 1-4. Both these games are fun overall. I mean, they're up as next to coin collecting challenge. Oh, here we go. A race against 1 1, which we've already seen in NES Remix, but instead of Goombas, you had Beatles in it. 
So it was the Quest 2 version. There's the rewind feature. <laughs> I mean, overall, it's a fun little game. I said, I do enjoy this ghost data they give you in the World Championship Edition. But overall, I think the challenges on Mario 1, I think they're a little more varied on the NES Remix, so... As far right now, I'm leaning towards Mario 1 experience on the NES Remix. We'll see if it changes. I'm going for these different challenges thus far. I'd say NES Remix is in the lead. With me personally. So here we go. We're going back to a... This here's actually a Remix challenge. You have no control over Mario's running in this one. It's pretty cool. You get to play 2 free. And of course I die there. <laughs> Until I'm not too good at Mario. But ignore that, I mean this is a remix challenge. There's several of those in NES remix. <laughs> I am horrible with the fish level. Now you do get to play the same level in the World Championship Edition. Uh, but it's seven free, which has the turtles on it. But Mario's not auto running like he is in this challenge. And as you see, there's a shadow behind Mario. But yeah, this is one of the remix challenges. Oh, hey, there's now here we are on the one four on the World Championship challenge. Mario's running, and as I said, you get to play the whole level of 1 4. You get to play the whole level of 4 1. I feel like all these challenges on World Championship Edition, they're mostly building up to the Legendary Challenge. Once you've seen any of my streams, you'll uh, seen me play through the Legendary Challenge a few times. So yeah, four ones, one of the levels you have to go through, and cash grab. This this challenge here sort of dates back to the original World Championships, where you had to actually collect, I believe, 30 coins in Mario One. So yeah. So thus far, uh, just from playing both of them sort of back to back, I would say right now I'm leaning towards uh, the NES Remix challenges being better challenges. Uh, more varied. So, right now, my early impressions I'm giving the advantage to NES Remix. Again, I don't edit videos much, so if you enjoy this, thanks for coming out and watching this. So yeah, NES Remix right now is... That's a slight advantage, at least for Mario 1. As I go through each game that's in both Remix and this, we'll see. Thanks for coming out, guys.